Hello, this is Ms. Sloan, and the purpose of this assignment, this video, is to show you how to change all of your colors to colors that match using a color palette and how to get a color palette for your project. So, um, I'll go ahead and go to my old version. Okay. So here is what my project looked like, and I want to make it look really pretty with some with another color palette. So basically, all you need to do is go to do a Google search and put any word that you want to in front of the word color palette. You can have a blue color palette, and you or you can have a I don't know a, a Batman color palette. Any words that you want to to go in front of the word color palette until you see um, some colors that look really good to you that. Um, you find pleasing to you. So once you find whatever color palette you want, you're looking for at least four colors that are com contrasting. Um, once you find a color palette that you like, go ahead and click on it. And then you're going to right click and save image as. You don't care about the size of the image, you just care about saving an image of at least four colors that you can see on your project. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead into Photo P and you're going to import that image by going to File and you're going to um, Open. And I'm going to find my file and I'm going to go ahead and open it. So you'll see that I put it on a brand new layer, a brand new like sub project. So I need it over on my original project. There's my project. So I'm going to um, grab my image and I'm do a Control C on a PC, Command C on a Mac. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to place it by hitting Command V as in Victor or Control V. It did go behind my circle. Not a big deal if that's bothering you. Just drag it to the top of your layers and let go. It's now over everything. Um, you also only need a tiny bit of each one of these, so you can like put it off to the side there, or off to the bottom, um, whatever colors you'll be using, just put it right there. So next I'm going to start altering the color of my circle. So double click on circle, and right now it is this blue, but I want to change it. So I can come over here and click on my color picker, eyedropper, or as you see um, in the parentheses on the screen, you can also hit the I key on your keyboard and it um, will select it for you. Now it's asking you to pick a color that you want to change the inside of this to. So I'm going to change it to this dark pink. There we go. There's my old color. There's my, there's my old color, my new color. Press OK. All right. Next we're going to change the color of the stroke on the circle. That is the um, green that's around it. So we're going to click on the color we don't want. And we still have the eyedropper picked, so now we just have to pick the color that we do want around that circle. There we go. Um, the reason that's not exactly, the inside is not exactly the same color as I chose is because I have an overlay on it that is altering the color. That's okay. Press OK. Next, my pink rectangle. Pink, I guess. Um, I'm going to change the color of this. And again, my eyedropper is still chosen, so I'm going to choose for my background. I guess I'll choose that purple. Okay, press OK. And I need to um, fix that stroke. Right now it is um, yellow. And I'm going to change it to, um, I guess, light pink. Yes, press OK. And OK again. And now I'm going to edit that red rectangle on the back. And I'm going to choose for that. Hmm, I'm going to choose this dark pink. Press OK. And now time to edit my name. Click on my name. This one's a little bit different. This one, you can't, I don't think, let's see. Yeah, it's not going to just let me change it like that. So I need to highlight my name. To do that, I need to come over to my uh, Move tool. And then I need to triple click on my name. There we go. I want it highlighted. 
here is the color that it was. And now I cannot press the I key, otherwise it will replace those letters with the letter I. But here's my color picker. Move this aside. And I'm gonna make my name. I think I'm gonna make it this dark pink, but I'm going to put something around it. So let me press okay. And then I'm going to add with EFF, I'm going to add, this time I'm gonna add an outside stroke. Ah, nice. Now I have a nice stroke on the outside. It's already from my color palette. I actually like the way it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. Um, you know, I'm also going to add a shadow because that will make it stick out a little bit more. So EFF and then add a drop shadow. It puts it in there for me. It's already on there. Press OK. And then I'm going to save my project by doing File, Save As. We're going to save it as a Photoshop file so we can use it later. And I'm going to call this Name Project. It is now saved. Um, I need to take my color palette off before I turn it in or use it. So let me delete that. Just save it again. Um, it's already saved. And now I'm going to do a file. Um, export as a JPEG. And now I can share it with others. Now, if you want it to print it, you're going to make it a bigger um, quality, a higher quality. I'm not printing mine. I'm just going to save it. It's called New Project. I'll call it It's now called Sherry Name Project. And then to view it, I just have to click on it and open it, and you'll see that it looks gorgeous. And that is all. Good luck.